So in our previous uh, session, we have seen how we can go for create a requisition, right? So once the requisition is created and approved, then what the organizations will do? They'll go for create RFQ, request for quotation. We are going to create a RFQ and send this RFQ to the suppliers and then receive the quotation from the suppliers. That's what we are going to do it, right? So what we are going to do in this session is we are going to create a RFQ document request for quotation and send this request for quotation to suppliers. How suppliers will receive this quotation, the RFQ document? Either we can send as a fax, we can take out that uh, document as a printout and uh, send this courier or fax, or we can send that document output as an email. In Fission applications, what Oracle has done, they have provided supplier portal. We don't need separate uh, external, you know, external communication channel. In the Fission applications itself, Oracle has provided supplier portal. It means we are going to give the username and password for supplier so that supplier will log in and check the documents which has been received from the suppliers and buyer's information will be maintained. Okay. So once, once we send this RFQ to the supplier, supplier will log in and he will check that and then we will go for receive the quotation from the suppliers. We'll receive the quotation from the suppliers. Okay. So first what I'm going to do here is for current for a current user, for PO user, we have the permission only for raising the requisition. You can just raise the requisition. Now this employee wants to create RFQ, send this RFQ to supplier and receive the quotation from the supplier. For that, we need to attach the role called category manager. What is the role name? For RFQ and quotations, category manager. These two documents, RFQ and quotations, we call it as a negotiation documents because these two documents are used to negotiate on the price or quantity or terms and conditions or any other options in the procurement we will be using. Okay. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm going to log in with some other user who is having access to FSM and security console. So this user is having access to security console. I'm going to assign the role called category manager, tools menu, security console. Go to users, view underscore user. I'm assigning the role called category manage. Category manage. Yes. After assigning the role, then we have to assign the data access to the user. Setup and maintenance. Now go to, you can go to financials or procurement, go to data access, manage data access for users. Select role name and username. What is the role name required for RFQ and quotations, category manager, right? And choose the security context as business unit. Whatever the business units we want to work, choose that. Go for save and close. After assigning the data access, it's mandatory. Should run the LDAP process. Go to initial users, run users and roles synchronization process.
where we are trying to run this. Let's log out from here. Now PO user is going to log in, create a RFQ document. We'll find first the role has been applied or not. Go to procurement tab, still role is not applied. Maybe it takes some time. We are supposed to get here negotiations. Still it's not applied. Either we need to log out and log in. It takes some time whenever we are working here. So we need to wait for five, 10 minutes. Otherwise, immediately it will be updated. Go to procurement. We can find negotiations here. Negotiation is nothing but RFQ and quotations. Request for quotation and quotations. Go to negotiations. Now we would like to go for create an RFQ document. Send this RFQ to supplier. Create negotiation. In RFQ document, we are going to mention what are the items. When we talk about sourcing module, there we will get RFI, request for information, request for proposal, and request for quotation. So that uh, comes under sourcing. Now, anyway, it's uh, RFQ request for quotation. Create. Now, a lot of options are there in RFQ, request for quotation, cover page will be specified. If you want to insert your RFQ number, you can insert from here. It's a just cover page information. Document number can be inserted here. overview of the document this all are general uh, details we'll find mainly lines where we will be specifying items means exact uh, uh, requirements i'm mentioning here rtl rfq yeah and we are expecting the quotation on or before 30 of this month that's the mandatory field we are supposed to specify and then we are going to specify the lines go to the tab called lines here we'll be mentioning what items uh, we are expecting from the supplier. Let's say 100 items, current price is $6. And uh, we're expecting for the same price. We are not expecting any discount from the supplier. And we can send this RFQ to the multiple suppliers. At this point of time, I'm sending to only one supplier, advanced corporation. As I said, once we send this RFQ request for quotation to the supplier, then we will be having supplier portal. So the supplier will have an employee. We call it as supplier contact, right? Here, this. This employee will be receiving. This employee can log into the Fusion applications. So this employee will have a user account. We'll see that now, how to reset the password for this user account. Okay. And now we are sending RFQ to this supplier, this supplier site, and he's the person who is going to receive this RFQ and he's going to give the reply. Okay. Let's go for publish the RFQ document. It doesn't require any approvals, RFQ and quotations, we don't find any approval process generally. If at all we want to implement, we have separate uh, negotiation approvals that we have to set up. Now, supplier has to log in and uh, check this. We know supplier username, but we don't know the password, right? So we need to reset that. Same process we have to follow. 
Security Console. Go to Security Console here. We need to search for this username. He is a supplier. He is our supplier, and we given the access to our suppliers also, so that what they can do, they can log into the application in online, and they can check what we have sent. For that, they can go for reply. So that information will be within our application only. It will not go out of our database, right? So here, I'm going to reset the password for this. A supplier can log into the applications. The click done button here. The moment supplier login, he can access only uh, the supplier uh, portal. It means whatever the documents we have sent to the supplier, only that information he can access. See, we don't have any navigator here and we don't find any setup and maintenance and all. So now what system is telling to the supplier, you have received one agreement. There are some built-in agreements or open agreements, orders, receipts, payments, a lot of other options we have. And uh, we would like to check our RFQ, whatever we have sent. It's a negotiation document, right? RFQ. Yes, negotiation invitation. Just now we got. There is one negotiation invitation is waiting for a reply. Here we can find this is our RFQ number, right? RTL RFQ we have sent. And now the supplier can send just online message. Thanks for sending the requirement. We'll come back to you within short period. And if they want to just respond to the requirement, they can just go ahead with respond. Or if they wanted to go for send the acknowledgement, they can go for respond with just acknowledgement so now what supplier is doing he is going to respond it's nothing but a quotation now supplier is interested having the goods and they are ready to supply the goods now supplier is going to send the quotation to our company this is what response is nothing but a quotation response is nothing but a quotation this is our quotation number and what is our rfq number here we can find it. click next button Our supplier is interested to supply the goods for $5.57 itself. Now 
go for submit. Double six one three five. That's the quotation number. How about uh, RFQ number? Three one seven nine three. That's the RFQ document. So like this, supplier will give the reply from the supplier portal. A buyer will be receiving this notification. So who is the buyer? PO user. I'm just going to log in with PO user, trying to find the RFQ status. can find the notification generally advanced corporation has submitted the response double six one three five that's the quotation number for the negotiation rfq called three one seven nine three go to procurement manage negotiations and search for the rfq we can find new acknowledgement here it's all we call it as infolets, which are shortcuts to get our information. Instead of going to task list and choose the task list task option, we can get it from here. 31793. This is our new response here. So go to manage negotiation. 31793. That's the RFQ number. And if we want to know for that what is the quotation, we can find here. One response we have received from supplier. Click on this. And if we don't want this response and not interested about it, we can go for disqualify. Here we can go for disqualify this and view the response in PDF format. And th this all actions we can go for perform. Okay. So this is how we can communicate with the supplier, how to send the RFQ document to the supplier and how the supplier can log into the applications and access supplier portal and how the supplier is going to respond to our uh, requirement. Okay, So that's about RFQ and quotation. This is our part two in our procure to pay cycle. Okay. Thank you.